Hello everybody, welcome to the first video of the Azure 25 programming guide and today we are going to be talking about installing CPS or the customer programming software for Azure 25 radios. And what I mean by Azure 25 radios is specifically the XTS 5000. It's what I have here today and we are going to be programming them, getting them up and running in the next couple of videos. But today we're just going to be focusing on installing CPS. So I have a copy of CPS here and it, it will depend on where you get it and there's many places on the internet where you can get it now. I know there's some copies on archive.org and I will have some links in the description below and especially on Odyssey. Go follow my channel by the way on Odyssey about how to get some of the software for older Motorola radios and specifically the Astro 25 line. But anyways, let's just jump right in. So we have the folder here and this is what it should look like. You should have all these files in here and just run the setup file. It requires administrator privileges, no worries. So this is asking us if we have a flash key and that does not really apply to us since we don't have a flash key and we're not a system administrator. So just click OK. It wants .NET Framework 4.0. If you don't have that, just go to click OK. So with this program, CPS is the only thing that's required to install. However, I recommend installing both Tuner and CPS because the later videos within this tutorial series will require Tuner. Let's just go ahead and install both of them for right now. So just click yes through all of these. These are these are just license agreements that you know we don't have to read. So for these fields, just type in a name uh, like I have here. It doesn't really matter. It won't really apply to us. So just click next, next, and all the defaults are fine. So typical is fine. Next. Oh yes, that's actually pretty loud, but. Uh, you will get this uh, player here and you can watch it if you want. I like the, the video. But just click install. Install. These are just the drivers. Um, automatic data registration server. We are not going to be covering this in the video series so I'm just going to click no since we don't need it. No. And I'm going to say no, I will restart my computer later. This is actually optional. I don't think this is required for it to work properly. Uh, just know that if you do have issues, you may just want to restart your computer after you finish installing this program. So just click finish. Um, we can go to close this out. And we will have tuner and CPS on our desktop right here. We can just go ahead and launch CPS up and you'll get this nice splash screen here and just click start using CPS. There's some tutorials and some guides here but um, they're not they're not amazing so yeah it's just something we're gonna have to deal with throughout Astro 25. So just click start using CPS and we have CPS launched up here. And you get some tips. Uh, you could disable the tips if you want which I kind of feel like they're annoying but sometimes they have some useful information so just click close. And now we have Astro 25 CPS. Now this is only for the portable radios, which means, oh, the handheld radios only. So the XTS 5000, 4000, and all these that are listed right here, this, this software is compatible with these radios right here. So not the mobiles. The mobile radios require a different version of CPS, um, the mobile version of the CPS. But yeah, that's something that we, we probably aren't going to cover in this video series just the portable radios. The mobile radio should be quite similar towards the, the portable radios. So yeah, this is this is it. Um, and the next video is going to have how to actually set up Astro 25 uh, code plugs and how to get a channel, a simplex channel, a digital and an analog channel set up uh, with some contacts. So yeah, this is going to be it for this video. This short little sweet video, but I hope it was helpful for some, some of the guys that are trying to install Azure 25 CPS. So thank you everybody for watching and stay tuned for the next couple of videos I'm going to push out here pretty soon. Bye bye.